Carl, disappointing day at the Cranog Arena, 48-24 defeat. It started so bright, you were probably some of your best rugby this season in the first half. Uh, where did it all go wrong? Yeah, um, like you say, it was our best rugby. I think we completed the best we completed all all year. Both both halves over 80%. And I just thought, you know, the start of the second half, you know, Scott Morell went off injured and you know, we started to boss the game. A couple of, a couple of little tiny 50-50 calls didn't go our way. You know, Morsey nearly got over the line. Should have been a dropout. You know, it ended up being a seven seven tackle set for them, and they went down the other end and scored. So, yeah, little little fine margins, mate. But you know, that that's not an excuse for you know then shipping in another another 20 points. So, yeah, I thought it was our best first half of the year. Uh, you know, we've been we've been matching teams for the first 20 25 minutes. And you know today we've gone 40, but you, you can't go 40 with a you know top side like Halifax and, and get away with it. And never mind anyone in the division. So yeah, it's something we need to work on. Uh, you know, given that 80 minute performance, but there's a lot of positives. You know, considering we did concede 48 points. You into it there, two uh, few 50-50 calls, but penalty count 15-5. It finished up. I mean, is you, do you think your discipline's a problem, or what's your take on that? I think to a certain degree it is. I think we're, we're doing real daft stuff, you know, especially player four, player five, uh, little cheap things when we're getting tired. But we're not we're not a poor disciplined team. We're not a dirty team. Uh, I respect Rochdale. You know, I coached against Rochdale last year. The official said we had a reputation. Well, Rochdale had a reputation at the time. Whether we've carried that through, uh, it would be pretty worrying if if that's the case. But I, I just find that you know. We're, we're playing against it every single week, and you know, as a coach, I'm trying to fix that up in the wrestle. Uh, you know, we've done a lot of work on our, on our wrestling. I think you could see that for staff. Uh, but yeah, I think we're being daft. But I also believe we're on we're on the wrong end of a very a lot, a lot of harsh decisions. Yeah, and that's all today. There were there was once you start giving them stupid penalties, it's really difficult for the referee to start. And in your side, the 50 50 calls and it yeah. makes it tough for him. Well, I think we had three penalties all game. We got two in the last set or two in the last couple of minutes. So, you know, it, it certainly wasn't that type of game. We're not a dirty team. Um, and yeah, they played the ball quicker than us, which, you know, that is going to bring penalties on them. They're a good team, they're a quick team. But, you know, certainly I, I, I can't believe that was the penalty count. I really can't. And, you know, I, I thought. Two two obstruction tries in the first half. Dan gets took out off the ball. Great play by by them. But for me, the you know I might be wrong when I watch it back. But for me at the time, it was two obstruction. And little things going against us, mate. You know they'll level out over the season. Hopefully, you know we'll have a, we'll have a good day at the office. We'll you know we're on the we're on the other end of them decisions. And quick turnaround. You're at Salford on Friday. Uh, another former club in the Challenge Cup. Um, short week. How, how's it looking preparing for that one? Yeah, we're going to have to reassess some bodies there. Casey come off injured just before, about 35 minutes in. So, you know, to come off like that, I can't see him being ready five days later. But, you know, we'll, we'll probably hand out a few few appearances to some players that have not been not been getting minutes and see how they go. Uh, you know, Swinton and Sheffield over Easter, it, it is our focus. We want to enjoy the, uh, the Salford experience. But, you know, we've got to be realistic and be clever with the bodies that we have, and especially a few of the older boys that need to back up. So... Yeah, it's it's we're not used to these five five day turnarounds, so we'll we'll reassess, we'll see what we've got, and you know, touch wood, we'll get some players on the field that you know have, have struggled for game time so far. And finally, uh, lost again today. So for that's for the spin for them. Do you, is there a little bit of you that thinks maybe we can go there and upset the odds? Sports strange, mate. Sports sports very strange. But a super league outfit, full time outfit. Uh, you know they've got great players. You know sat on the sidelines. Um, so you know it, it it is what it is. We we've got to go there, enjoy the experience. We can we can gain a lot from it. Um, but you know we we got there with no pressure. We can go and throw the ball about a bit, try and test out our attack and and test our day out because we're not going to face that kind of attack again this year. So um, and like you say, it's a good opportunity for me to sit back and and watch a few of the boys that's not had not had a lot of minutes and it's their their chance they won't take the take the shirt for for the Easter period. Cheers, Carl. Cheers, mate.